Well, it's the first Dacia update of 2019. It's May 12th. We're running late because we had to go spend a couple and a half weeks in the USA taking care of business. Not pleasant business, but business nonetheless. So far, not much has happened this year, but everything is working. The uh, pump is set and it's pumping water into one of the storage barrels. Daffodils and little grape hyacinths are popping their little heads up, as are all the weeds in the world. Out in the greenhouse, uh, with the help of Dasha's fine husband, Timor, we managed to get all the roof and doors on the first greenhouse. And he's working on the second one. Over here at the neighbors, it looks like he's done a lot more than we have. That big hole over in the, on the other side is his pond. He dug it out by hand, by it with a shovel. A little bit of crap over here going on. But the good news is, is it looks like we're going to have some cherries this year after last year's disaster. These boards here are going to get painted green and stuck around the perimeter fence in hopes of keeping Miss Betty inside. We're still gathering stuff out of the sheds where we put it for the winter. I have to fill this barrel a little later today. Timor puts the doors on first, then we work together to get the roof panels in place. And each year it's a fight. The potato towers are ready for potatoes. De Olga has to buy some first. Uh-oh, overflow. I got too much water in that barrel, so I'll go and unplug the fine pump. And then come back. Dee -dee -doo -doo. Lawn needs watering. This is a dry year. Uh, the water level this morning was at 180 centimeters, which is about 100 centimeters more than last year deeper than last year. There's Olga. Say good morning, Olga. Hi. She always waves, never says a word. She's quiet that way. Timor's putting the doors on the greenhouse. Hi, Timor. Hi, Dirk. How are you? Kagdala, how are you? Uh, what about we would say? <laughs> More or less. More or less. Worn out. I know the feelings. It's rather warm today. How hot is it? Did you look at the thermometer? Uh, but it's been a warm, dry spring. Which is okay in part. If I don't pull the hose out, it will siphon back into the well with that type of a pump. So I pull the hose out. I'm not really thinking too much about future projects. I just have the one this this spring, and that is to over there underneath the fence and along over underneath this fence, get it so Betty stays in the yard. I'm tired of chasing her around the neighborhood. But some of the cherry trees just never recovered. But some did, and there's a few blossoms on this one. I got to paint window frames before I put the uh, screens on. Debbie, uh, Betty's favorite uh, escape route 
is under the fence anywhere she can. Last year I put this along there and that helps. We have new neighbors across the street. That girl sold her place and they're working on it. They've cut the weeds and painted the fences and painted, oh wow, they even painted the, the dacha. So nice. We've got to weed out this mess. Garlic came up, onions didn't. Garlic kind of came up. Just like everything else, it needs water. <sighs> Olga's cleaning the kitchen and getting the house all ready. TV works, gotta pay the bill, get the satellite turned back on. Uh, won't be long before we're spending the night here again. So my immediate project is fixing the fence, then building a shed, and if there's any time left, my pizza oven that I've been putting off. But now it's time to fill up another barrel, and by the time I get the barrel filled, Timor should be finished putting the doors on, and we get together and put the roof panels on. But that's all for this first trip out here. Actually, it's the third trip out, but the first one with the camera that's worth even showing you. If this is a little shaky and if I sound a little off, it's because we spent 38 hours traveling from Dallas, Texas to Atlanta, then Paris, then Moscow, and then home, courtesy of Air France or as I refer to it now, Air Farce, who managed to screw up every, every flight and then to add insult to injury, the baggage is missing. Last time we heard about it, it's in Paris. So with my luck, it's probably on its way back to Becca's house in Dallas. But they claim it's going to be coming to Ufa here in a day or so, so we can get all of the lovely stuff that we picked up in the U.S. of A. Anyway, that's all for this Dacha update, and we'll see you in a month, and maybe it'll be better than this. Okay, Dirk out. Say goodbye, Timor! Goodbye! I like that kid. <laughs>